Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy to Pixel Remaster. Uh, today we're going to be searching for the Dreadnought. And in order to do that, we need to go to Bof Bas Bafsk. B-A-F-K-S. Bafs. B-A-F-S-K. Uh, we need to talk to this guy to go to Poft so that we can ride the airship to Bas Bafsk. Such a hard name to say. Uh, but we're going to be searching for that and we're going to try and take it down. As we sail across the sea. Uh, I'm going to rest first, actually. Getting everyone up to full HP. And then we talk to Sid's underling. Because apparently Sid is just too important for us. And we need to go to Bafsk. That's a hard name to say. But, let's take our airship all the way over. I'm going to save it. And right there in the top left-hand corner is the Dreadnought. Um, I don't know if there's new magics in this shop, actually, or, or in this town. We can always check. Fe oh, there is! So, Basuna... Okay. This would affect, like, poison. Basuna would affect poison uh, because they wear off after battle. However... Uh, Asuna would be, like, the venom uh, that does not wear off after battle. Uh, so, neat that they made that distinction. I was wondering if one spell could do it all. Uh, do they have any new equipment? Nope. We have Mithril equipment. But we need to talk to, I think, this guy. Right over here. Yeah, because there's the entrance to the sewers. General Borgen took command of things in Bafsk a short while ago. Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knight. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become a general in the Imperial Army. Oops, um, you didn't hear that. Uh, so I think we need to ask about the Dreadnought. So you're the ones they've sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a back way leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. If they see us talking, they make it start to get suspicious. So I'm out of here. Good luck. So he leaves. I don't know exactly where he leaves to, because he doesn't leave into the sewers, but he also, you also can't leave through the trees. So he just kind of disappears out of existence. Uh, but we enter the Baths Cave. Um, I believe there's only three treasures in here. And this one is actually a really linear path, unlike the other dungeon. Encounter rate is still pretty high. But the enemies in here aren't that hard either. Making our way down. A longbow for Maria, even though we already have a longbow. And... Yes, where we just take the right path. 
So in the previous fight, Queen B had hit me with a regular attack, and it caused me to get uh, Venom, this purple, at least that's what I'm calling it, instead of poison. Um, but it lasts after battle. But uh, that was kind of like taking the place of poison in the previous game, where it's, it's more um, potent venom. Anyway, we go through the end of this game. Once again, getting hit, hit with that venom. Alright, let's go. And at the end of the cave, we find this guy. Dark Knight. You're too late. The Dreadnought is complete. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left for you. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. Okay, bye, Dark Knight. Ah, yes, Borgen. <laughs> Looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourselves. <laughs> Uh oh. We were too late. The dread's not taking off. Uh, oh, that's puffed. I think that's all high air. Uh-oh. We better get back. We found a pass in the chest. And those are the three three chests that we can get. Oh, but this isn't good. I don't even know how to get back. Looks like we gotta go up and around to... What is that? Poff? Yeah, we gotta go up and around to Poff. So, up and around we go. Hopefully everyone's okay. I really hope everyone's okay. Oh no. Oh, looks like... Oh. Well, we were attacked by the Dreadnought. They're dead. They're all dead. Oh. Is there anyone left in the inn? Can we rest? So the innkeeper doesn't seem to care. 600 gil, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, everything's destroyed. Magic guy is still happily selling magic. Well, let's check out the inn then. Should still be the same, hopefully. Oh, that's awful. All those people died. Palu 
Doom got hit too? Oh no. I'm hurt. Hurt bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, this is awful. My daughter. They killed my daughter. Oh, this is terrible. I didn't mean to go out. Dreadnought attacked and destroyed the entire town. I didn't think they hit this town. I thought they went over it and, and hit Altair. Oh, man. What other town did they hit, then? I know they hit Altair. Oh, it's also destroyed. There's no one even out and about. Well, what about Hilda? Oh, okay, so everyone's here. There's a man in Poff named Sid who might just know if the Dreadnought has any weaknesses. Sid was the first person to ever build an airship, and the Dreadnought's really nothing but a big airship, right? Okay. Uh, well, okay, so everyone seems okay in this building here, so that's good. I guess we're going to save. And uh, then we need to talk to Hilda. Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has even caused my father's condition to turn, to take a turn for the worse. I hate that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows his death is near. Is there nothing you can do, Minwoo? All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. The fate of the world rests on you, Furion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. Minwoo left the party. Um, this is about where I stopped my original trial play uh, of, of this game, so from here on out, everything is blind, essentially. I'm, I am following a, a guide, but it's only to get all of the treasures, and it doesn't give any spoilers, which I like. So we asked about all of these. We asked about the Dreadnought, Mithril, Wild Rose. We can't learn anything. Nothing happens. Happens. Really? Nope, oh, there's one thing I forgot to do. I have to talk to Sid first. Dang it. I'll be back. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you guys in Puffed, where Sid is. Okay, now that we're back in Puffed, we need to ask Sid... Ask about the airship. There's Sunfire. And then we need to ask about Sunfire? Yep. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Letting the flames get too high, you will get a runaway in your hand. The engine will blow sky high. So now that we know about Sunfire, we can ask Hilda about Sunfire. Progressing our password. Uh, gotta talk to the guy. Uh, progressing our password. Um,
achievement. We need to get all passwords. Uh, so that's, uh, again, easily missed there to... Easily missed password there. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I made that. So, yeah, you definitely could just skip skid, skip skid, skip Sid, uh, and miss this password. Uh, then we need to ask about Sunfire. Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashan. Its flame still burns on the ground floor of Kashan Keep. Scott and Gordon have told many, many stories of the concerning flame. Their finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be held in any torch. Sid told us that we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. There, then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashan Keep at once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves the question, what can you use to bring the Sunfire back? Okay. Uh, then we need to go to the king. Yep, there's Minwoo. So many perished in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. So now we need to ask about Sunfire. Scott sealed the gates of Kashan's Keep to protect the Sunfire, the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the Goddess's Bell to break the seal. So now we learn Goddess's Bell, ask about it. The whereabouts of the bell are known to the known only to the Kashan royal family. Oh. What's this pass for then? But we need to go back to Hilda and talk to her about the Goddess Bell. I heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Kashan keep only open only to the voice of a Kashan or the ringing of that bell. The bell rests deep within a cavern on the snow plains. It will not be easy to retreat. So it is your intention to enter the snow cavern? Very well. If only Gordon were here, then uh, there would be no need for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Yosef knows the snow plains like the back of his hand. You should seek his counsel. Oh, cool, so we need to go back to Yosef. He is in that snow city. Yeah. He's in the snow city. Salaman, that's what it is. Salaman. Uh, but I think that will do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is Cheesy Paladin signing off, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>